What's going on YouTube? This is Parker Light 88 coming at you with another video. And in this video, we are going to be reacting to the new Poi Sandra Taylor that just came out. Um, I saw this at work. I, I was very surprised when it did come out. I thought it would be a lot more official of an announcement or something like that, but I feel like it just kind of popped out of nowhere. Uh, I know Poi Sandra was around the corner, but I didn't really know how close she was to being um, around the corner. It really feels like Adam hasn't been out for that long. I'm sure he probably has, but it, it just feels like he hasn't been out for that long. Um, in terms of name alone, Poi Sandra, I think, is probably the least hype character as far as character design and everything like that. But, you know, I have all the faith in the world that Enway is going to make her play fun. Uh, I hope that she does something with her makeups. I think it's supposed to be one of her gimmicks where she has different like types of makeup that can like buff and debuff people and things like that. So, um, you know, let's go ahead and see what she brings to the table. Before we go ahead and get started, uh, you guys like what you see so far, please consider checking out my social media links in the description. You can check me out on Twitch at www.twitch.tv slash ParkerLight88. You can check me out on Twitter at ParkerLight2. And if you want to support me just a little bit more, consider checking out my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash ParkerLight88. Now, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into this trailer. My audio is set. And I am ready as soon as my computer you know, is done being frozen. There we go. I'm ready to be pressed. Let's see what we got. This will be a piece of cake. Your plan is finished. Yep, there goes Boy Sandra. All right, nice jump in. Multiple hitting buttons. Whoa. Wow. Huh, that's interesting. All the spinning. Wow. All the spinning. <laughs> the cake. All right. Wow, she's just going crazy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, finally, the Gravesword. Let's freaking go. I'm more excited for the Gravesword. Yeah, <laughs> fire breath. Uh, okay, so I thought so. I want to go back and take another look at the Gravesword. Like, all the spinning around she's doing is just like, what is she doing? Ooh, wow. Oh, cool, so it's like a trap. Nice, I like it. And when she hits you with it, it, it does something to her. second let me see let me see if i can bump the quality here a little bit yeah that's horrible i like, can't get at least like 720 please thank you all right one more time let's rewind this back okay so this is much better all right so air heavy that's most likely medium crouching medium part of an auto combo maybe this crazy move so first of all Got, she has this little screw kick that, look, that hits multiple times. That could actually probably be a good jump in as well. And then this this buzzsaw maneuver, so interesting. That leads to a wall bounce. That leads to a wall bounce. Yeah, leads to a wall bounce. Huh? That's probably her launcher. So her ex, so her ex is like the slow moving heart that causes a crumple state. I wonder if this is a projectile. How far across the screen does it go? I wonder how far across the screen this goes. Okay. All right, and we're going. Yeah, all this all this spinny do stuff she's doing, that looks like part of an auto combo, similar to uh, Ninja Adam. Okay, Sledge comes, that's part of a throw, I'm sure. All right, so we just have like a little car wheel for an OTG. Nothing special there. Maybe that could be a command normal overhead, perhaps. Woohoo, there does she does the spinny do. So that little spinny do, that, so you know what? I take that. So let's either let's either a special move. Let's either a special move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say it's a special move. I'm probably gonna say it's like air special, maybe. Super ambiguous cross up. Like all the like her thing just like spins and spins and spins and spins and just like whoa, what is going on? So hard to decipher. It's so hard to decipher like you know what her actual moves are. So let's back this up for a second here. So she chucks the pie or the. the she chucks the uh, the cake. 
chucks the cake. Okay, so it comes in two parts. So what's this all about? What's this all about? Right here. So it looks like there's an icon. If I could get this thing to pause, hold on. So this little icon for Sledge, clearly. But it looks like it has like a little, like a block symbol around it. So maybe you can't use Sledge or something like that. I'm very interested to know what, what this is all about because clearly she is calling out Sledge and Sledge just runs through everything. Uh, interesting. So you can hit Sledge, or is that just part of his, his animation? Let me get another look at this here. So he comes in, runs through everything. Yeah, it looks like she almost tries to throw out a button. Hold on. Maybe not, maybe he just runs in. And then there's her heart. Go back and look at that. Okay, so she does the EX. So yeah, it's a full so it's a full screen like slow projectile thingy, kind of like the bird uh, that Chun Li has. And then what's this? Like she's just going crazy. She's going crazy on Shadow Ranger, even though it's the point character. So she does an auto combo, teleports over to the lead character. Oh, and this cake is purple. So she has a red cake, and then there's a purple cake. But what does the purple cake do? Interesting. Maybe it's all aesthetic. Who really knows? Interesting. Yeah, that move seems bonkers. That, that I'm guessing that's probably like her air special. That move seems kind of bonkers. Uh -huh, snap back. Yeah, she looks cool. The Grave Zord, finally. Goodness gracious. I'm so happy they did not like wait for Rita to come out. I guess they just needed more time to work on it. Okay, so we got the Grave Zord on incoming. What do we have here? So we got Sword Stabbies. Sword Stab. So we got horizontal sword stabs, kind of like Goldar's, but they just come in across the screen horizontally. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So stab, stab, and then stab the other way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause the crumple state. Uh, she sets. She sets a. Why do I want? Why do I want? Why do I want to say pizza? Oh my goodness. She sets a cake. Calls in sledge. Sledge comes down. Gets hit with the cake. And then the Gravesword scoops him up. Interesting. So the abilities for the Gravesword don't seem like anything like super duper special. They all seem very practical. Everything seems pretty practical. I mean, you got the, the scrape, which kind of reminds me of like the Dino Megazord. Um, Dino's Megazord, like the clear out move where it scrapes the sword across the thing. You got Fire Blast, and then you have the sideways sword stabs as opposed to the Goldar vertical sword stabs. Very interesting indeed. Probably, you know, put that with some teleporty characters, some good cross up opportunities. That seems pretty cool. All right, chucking cakes. Chucking cakes. Hmm. So I wonder. So it seems to me that whatever cake you hit your opponent with is kind of tied to what Sledge ends up doing. I think, that's the way it seems. All right, so we get big, make my monster grow, and give him the stomp. I like it. All right, so, so it looks like that's going to be it for Poissandra, it would appear. Let's go ahead and speed this up. She seems, she seems silly, and I like the fact that, that she's silly. And her gameplay actually does look pretty cool. So it seems like the cakes, whenever you hit your opponent with the cake, that dictates what Sledge is going to do. I think it's interesting that it has like a, uh, like a block symbol above Sledge though, whenever you're about to do something. So like right here, you have the Sledge icon, right? But clearly there's like a no, like there's like a block symbol around Sledge. So I'm wondering what, what that means. Um, but yeah, it seems like the cakes and Sledge are kind of tied together in some way, shape or form. So, you know, I like what I'm seeing here. I like what I'm seeing in here. So that seems like it'll do it for Poissandra. That is my, my gut reaction to Poissandra. She looks really cool. What do you guys think about Poissandra? Are you excited for her? Are you not excited for her? I'd love to hear your opinions and I'll be back to you later with future videos. This is Parker Lab and I'll see you guys next time.